Hey YouTube, uh, my name is Willie V. I work with uh, More Silicate Glass, have been for a couple of years, and wanted to share uh, my understanding of the best way to cut glass. I saw uh, Roman Devour today had a problem uh, with getting the glass cut clean. I uh, just kind of, you're doing the right thing, the tool's a little basic, but I just wanted to basically show you what you have. It's just, you've got a cutting, cutting surface, and you've got the glass. You can use a rotary like this. You can use a glass knife like this. So, just, I'll do 16 millimeter first. I'll use this tool, just to show. All you need to do is, on one of these angles, score the glass about a quarter inch to a half an inch in length in a straight line. You'll hear it make the sound you're grinding and you're cutting. You just have to make that initial cut. Once you've made that, you then want to take some water and wet it. Uh, it used to be, you know, you can also use spit, but if you do a lot of these, you'll have a tendency to be putting glass back in your mouth if you do that. So just use a little little water nearby. And what you want to do is then look at the, uh, the cut itself and aim it away from you. And the motion on the break is you want to break the glass, but then you also want to be like pulling. So it's kind of like this arching break. So just kind of, you know, just kind of hold it on either side, looking at it through, and just pull and push. And you should get a nice clean break. Now, sometimes it's not 90 degree. Sometimes you might have a chip. The basic, that is the way you do it. You do it a couple of times, if you get the motion correct, it should be pretty clean. So that's 16 millimeter. That was with that knife. With the same rotary cutter like you're using, Devour, you just want to, you know, mark where you want the cut. Do your rotation and you'll hear it make its cut. Like that. Um, just wet it. look at it away from you and that just simply that just that just just motioned and it just went right there on its own once they're they're uh, cut you're looking to use uh, sandpaper um, I actually use a diamond file and I will basically get a 90 degree um, that's key to putting it also into fittings you want to have a clean 90 degree cut so you use the diamond file or a file uh, wet sand and uh, get it to that point. Um, you then want to burr down and you know, just get the edges down as well. Um, I'm going to stop this video at this point, well, you know, and then basically I will show you how I finish off the ends. Hey YouTube, it's Willie again. Um, so, the next part is basically how to finish off the ends. Um, what I use is a diamond a diamond um, uh, file basically used for sharpening knives um, and you, all you have to do is basically get the glass wet get this wet and then what I'm doing is I'm just going to turn I'm turning the glass constantly with my hand just turning it turning it turning it so with this wet I'm just turning it and I'm just running this file like that and you could also do this under a sink um, you just have to basically, with this water and this file, you're just basically, and I'm using the coarse side to take this down, and I'm just rotating the glass. You don't want to favor one side. You're trying to make a, a 90 degree cut. So if you just don't shake it, you might get off on an angle. So the best thing is just continue rotating the glass in your hand. Dip the bowls, get them wet. You know, that you should start to see it's just a 90 degree. You can do this, see, because I have a little chip on that side right there. So I'm just going to keep on working on this. And you can just sit here and just work on it, work on it. If it's, and just, you can even do it inside a bowl of water.
and just patiently just rotate it and file, rotate it and file. Look at it so you see that you're going on a 90 degree. Might take a minute or two. But you'll get by it faster with a diamond file. It's just the, it's the only way to do this. So you've got it down so it's nice and deburred. You've got it so it's a nice clean edge. And the next thing I do is get it wet again and then hold it on a 45 degree angle. And like I said, rotating it, just do this. and just rotate it, rotate it the whole time. You don't have to even press hard. The thing about the diamond file is it's, it's, it's made for working on a hard surface like four silicate glass. And you'll see you've got a nice, nice edge where you're not gonna cut any O-ring. Hope you found that helpful. I'll be putting up more videos on how to work with silicate glass in the future.